Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, I'm legend bound, can't stop me now. You don't wanna f*** with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things That you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can 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 Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my f mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots I tell you get big box, you get yachts You swing lots and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase it? Face it, I don't give up quick, I don't give up I won't give up this Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it I'll make it, I promise Guys, once again, welcome to my channel. My name is Nia Yeke Gang. You'll be the guy who tells stories from Ghana and also show you around places in Ghana for you to see how beautiful my country is. I'm not doing this alone, but I'm doing this with my lovely sweethearts. God. Couple friends. Yes. People have been saying that, oh, Nia, you're always in Accra. You know, mm -hmm. like, hey, today I'm just telling you, okay. we are out of Accra and we are showing you the beautiful places that I've always been talking about. And I'm not here alone, I'm not doing this alone, but I'm doing this with my lovely sweetheart. Mm. That is my wife. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much and welcome. We welcome everyone who has just tuned in. We thank you so much. From the previous video that you watched, you now know that we are now in the northern region of Ghana. This project is what we call This is Ghana Tour. So, one region, one, one tour. tour. And we are going to show you around the Ghana. whole of Ghana. We are doing this just to encourage other people who living in Ghana to always travel around Ghana and explore. And also those in the diaspora who would want to visit these places have a first-hand information on the do's and don'ts and what to do in these places and how to enjoy these places. We we'll take you through the journey yeah. for you to know. Mm -hmm. After 18 good hours of sitting in a bus, mm. after 18 good hours, mm. Of arriving at our destination, our first destination, yeah. we had to travel about two to three hours to get to where we are now. Approximately making about 20 something hours mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sitting mm -hmm. in bus alone. It wasn't easy, no. It wasn't guys. easy, but we are finally here because we want to show you the beauty of Ghana. Ghana is beautiful, reason. though. You mm. are the reason why. Yeah. You are the reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Now let's get worse to it, son. So we are finally here, and mm. for me, it's been his first experience. Mm. I have mm. been around like five, six, I think about ten times. I've been roaming. I've, I've been here in the north 
like this should be more than 10 times i've been yeah, around yeah, yeah. Ten the times. whole of the north yeah, yeah. yeah i know so he's it's my first a, time a virgin not now yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm a virgin not now so Today now i'm breaking my virginity in the night <laughs> <laughs> awesome. all right okay. okay so northern really is one of the most important um interesting place in ghana where people, I feel like a lot of people have not explored, a lot of people no. don't talk about. Yeah. Um, and I'm so glad we we are there to mm. bring you videos for you to see. And one thing I love about the northern region is that the place is not much pressured like Accra. Yeah, it's not explored. <laughs> I think many haven't really. All activities and livelihood and things are pushed to um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Accra. Mm -hmm. So Accra is so choked. Very choked, pressure. So choked. Traffic. And the north is so free. There's mm -hmm. no traffic. There's no um, mm -mm, mm -mm. rush. The place is clean. For things. Beautiful. It's very clean. In beautiful. fact, I would say it's the cleanest <laughs> part of Ghana. So far. That, according to you. Yeah, yes. according to me. Yeah. I think it's the cleanest part of Ghana. Yeah. The people are hospitable mm -hmm. and respectful. Even if they want to greet you, you find them bending to greet you. That's like, it's, a, it's their way of life. Yeah, they're very, very respectful. But you know, one thing we want to clear is that um, if you're traveling from Accra to the Northern Reading by bus, yeah. it will take you... 13 to 15 hours. Mm -hmm. 13 hours if the car is fast. 15 hours if the car is it's very... driving normal. But it's better to get there 15 safe. hours and safe and then than to get there 13 hours. And you never know what's going to happen. So, yeah. so we will recommend that in case you are traveling to the Northern Region by bus, you use the STC. Yeah, because STC. they've not paid us for this actually. Yeah, but we. But having used them for sev on several locations, yeah, we recommend it to you it's guys. It's safer. The drivers drive mm -hmm. well. There's mm -hmm. always a security um, in personnel in the car, or in the police bus. on board, which is very safe. So mm. we encourage you to. The drivers are very patient. They drive carefully, yeah. and hardly will you hear of accident, uh, of accident that is involved. With, with uh, even yeah. if you hear it once in a blue moon, it's just yeah. once in a blue moon. And I personally, I have tried all the other transport systems, yeah, and yeah. I have nothing good to say about the rest. We, Stick we, with we this. keep we keep it that. We've not been paid for this. It's but anyway, for them. Yeah. from Accra to Tamale is like thirteen hours, to fifteen hours, yeah. and from Tamale to um, Sandima will take like four, four hours. to five hours. And then from um, Tamale to Bolga is about two, two to two and a half hours. Yeah. And from Tamale to Damongo is yeah. also about two hours to two and a half hours. Roughly. Sandima is in the upper east region over there somewhere. I think so. I think yeah. so but yeah. he will confirm and prove it. <laughs> <laughs> You and know the way the regions are all divided, you so know, you have I, to be careful uh -huh, when you don't mention. That you mix so in case up. you miss something, yeah. comment in the box below, in know. the comment section and, below. And, and actually, we are all learning. Actually, I'm learning careful. Actually, actually, I don't really know your way around all this. Uh -huh. And then also, no, I don't really like the division of well, the regions. I actually don't see the essence of the division. Yeah, but because hey. Charlie, let's focus on why what we've, we are we've doing, already we been doing. divided already with this artificial border uh, come on see? more people are going to be paid uh -huh. to mm. to be taking care of these divisions and stuff. Of but and anyway they are the ones in thinking. charge of the country and they well, think that is best for the country yeah. anyway so that is it so and one thing you guys need to know about the northern region is that um it's mostly dominated by muslim um, it's an islamic religion like it's mostly um Islamic. dominated by mm -hmm. muslims yeah yeah there are also christians there but um more like 20 percent christians and 80 percent muslims kind of mm -hmm. and their livelihood of work or their main main livelihood mm -hmm. or main mm -hmm. source of livelihood yeah. is farming and um, rearing of livestock yeah that's their main source of livelihood and the other things they also do is hunting um Mm -hmm. um, craft this kind of crafts yeah and craft works and made uh, you get a basket, lot of a whole lot this of kind of things coming yeah. from that side making of fugu a whole they lot. have artistry and um, more like craft work mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. also their main they, they have a lot of beautiful things and you yeah. know one thing i love about the northern reading is that um they have the vast land yes. full of greens greens oh green so green and beautiful if you see if you're in a plane and mm -hmm. You're moving uh -huh. from Accra. Mm -hmm. You have an aerial view from up there of Accra. 
and you get to the north, you see greens. Mm -hmm. You just see small, few houses in there, yeah. but in Accra, it's so short. <laughs> we'll let you see um, the, the footage different of it. Just views. like I was saying, I had the, I have a, a subscriber. He's now like a friend in the UK. He called me one time ago, and I was like, "Ni, Accra is not nice. So Accra, when you fly up." the drone and you see a lot of yellow red and all that and i told him that he should just pray for me if i get opportunity to have enough money to buy my own drone i'll start traveling around ghana and i'll show how beautiful ghana is when you're looking at it from above and it's 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 really very beautiful just like you saw from the beginning of the video uh -huh. it's it's really good. but one thing we also didn't talked about was you know aside the transportation that is by bus you can also go by air yeah which, which she has faster. been she has been doing frequently more than 10 times yeah uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what do i go there to do 10 times yeah, she, she has I, been I have just fallen so much mm -hmm. in love with the north northern region though mm -hmm. i come from the Volta region yeah, yeah, yeah i've been to the north more than i have been to my own <laughs> that's my people please forgive me ah, <laughs> da, da. But, I keep going there because I feel a connection to the place mm -hmm. and many film projects I work on take me there. Yeah. So that's how come I keep going back there. And Not, by air from Accra mm -hmm. to the north, that's Tamale Airport. It's many minutes? It's 45. 45 minutes. Yes, 45. By bus is 15 hours. Mm -hmm. By air is 45 minutes. The only um, difference, difference is the cost. Yeah. By bus, you, you'll be paying around 130. 120. Or 150 so that's maximum but by air you will be paying roughly let's say 400 so or 700. 400 to 600 one way depending on which airline you use and mm. when you book your ticket yeah, if you book it at an earlier date it's cheaper but if you book it um at a late date closer mm -hmm. to your time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's always a little more expensive it's just like the normal booking of tickets and by flying by air yeah so that's the difference but if you have the money, do air. I usually do bus if I'm going with someone who hasn't been to the north before. Virgin and needs Northern. A virgin <laughs> northern. Like this one. I had to break it for him. You know, I had to break it for him. Hey, <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, hey, man, hey, man. <laughs> so usually when I'm going with someone who's not been there before, I take the person by road to, to experience, to have yeah. the it's crazy, experience. Charlie. It's crazy. The waste paint ah, the sleeping. bus trying to sleep yeah, and then it's, it's, it's crazy anyway. and if the driver like the OA bus we took the driver was driving recklessly mm -hmm. I had to keep praying keep praying father 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 so me to I'll, go safely I'll just uh, yes, advise if you have the money just yes, go by go air. by air mm -hmm. if you can but if you want to experience the road you can do one way by road and, and then you, come you return and, by air and that is it yeah Charlie they're not even reading so I, I can't wait to bring the videos that it's we've so done beautiful. so far and also um, they have a lot of beautiful cultures uh, we'll see if we can touch on it you know they have different group people i don't yeah. call it tribe group people so um they have different culture and style and way of life so we'll see we can bring you a lot of and guys thank you so much for supporting this channel yeah. and anyway please it's expensive traveling and very um very, that's the only thing i'll tell you very expensive traveling very around expensive. Ghana. so please if you feel like supporting us in any way okay. um please you are welcome please. We have, i think we, we have a paypal account yeah. and then what's the other name it's what patron patron account yeah. i'll put the details in the description box Charlie, anything is welcome you can support we'll us with anything grateful. you can so that we can travel more and show you around Ghana. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. Any final words? Well, I personally have practically been to almost all the regions in the mm -hmm. northern region. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, upper yeah. east, upper west. Me too, me too, me Savannah. I salute you for that. Part, working on different projects yeah. and works. So it's really a beauty to behold. Yeah. And I'm really glad. Then I wasn't vlogging. Yeah, so this time we were vlogging. I was we'll a photographer, vlogging. so yes. I all I have is pictures. Yeah. But I'm glad Mr. Lamte is here now. But now I'm also a filmmaker, so we want to show you the beauty of the mm -hmm. North. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Fasten your seatbelt. We are bringing yes. you a lot of videos. We'll okay. show you a part of the North that you have not seen. And But enjoy. please, please, please.
I beg you. Try always to like our videos and comment. Tell us what you think about the video and, and also share them. Yeah. Okay, it's really important for us so that more people can see the beautiful Mother Ghana. Until then, we'll see you on my next yeah. episode. My name is Nia Yi, and with my lovely sweetheart, Kafu <laughs> Praise. Kafu Praise. Hola. Bawo. Peace out. <laughs>